What's the crack, lads? We are back with another player breakdown. Today we're taking a look at Jude Bellingham. Hey, Jude. But anyway, look, this guy is a beast, lads. He's a fantastic option if you are looking to spin. And I've seen people in the comments of my first video where I did the review of this Madrid selection. Um, this is not the club packs. People are getting confused with the club packs. I have a video on it. If you want to check it out, I'll leave it in the description below of what the club packs are. They are specific, you know, specified packs that you can actually buy. These are the same as all the club selections. So you get one spin per 100 coins. You can open three of these. So you get a chance of spinning for any of these, Okay. Now, Bellingham is the first player we're going to focus on here. We will do David Alaba as well because he's a beast of a card. This guy is a fantastic option, lads, if you're looking and if you're looking for a midfielder but you don't really know what you want, right? So if you're starting off and you haven't played the game for that long, box to box is an extremely important play style to have um, on a player in midfield because it means that they literally go exactly as it says on the tin. It's very self-explanatory. They go from your op opposition box to your box, right? So it's box to box and they kind of cover every blade of grass centrally. They don't really go out wide unless you manually drag them out there or manually touch and go, okay? So Bellingham stats, his core stats are quite decent, right? We will take a look at a couple of other versions of Bellingham as well, but for this, we will be covering just exactly what this card is and showing you an offensive build and showing you a defensive build, okay? So for him here to have double touch and one touch pass as well as fighting spirit for a box to box is absolutely insane because it means that even if you're playing him as a defensive option, and I'll show you that in the defensive build that we have, you're going to be able to have a player that can pretty much do it all, right? He's got the height, he's got the strength, he's got the speed, he's got the stamina, he's got everything, right? So the one thing I would say as well is that because he has got rising shot, first time shot, and outside curler, you can actually train up his passing and shooting quite pretty, yeah, quite decent, right? So I'll keep this short and sweet. I'm not going to go on and on and on about it, right? But this is the offensive build that we have, okay? So very simple. Um, we have his offensive build here. I'll actually put that here on the screen for you. So this is actually the offensive build as an attack and CMF. And if you can get an additional skill on him, he pretty much doesn't need anything with those skills. Like, as I said, he has flip-flap, he's cut behind turn, he's also got double touch, one touch pass, and interception and fighting spirit. So he's going to naturally be aggressive on the ball no matter what you do or how you train him up. But I would stick heading on him because of his height and he will be able to get on a lot of chances. I have this version of Bellingham, which is the big time, and he gets on to so many chances in from corners and crosses, busting into the box, because that's what box to box will do. They will get into the box and cover every area of ground that they can, right? Now, when you're taking a look at this comparison this big time or this uh, showtime pack version of bellingham had 29 levels this is 23 and this guy was 85 overall starting off so it is a far superior card in terms of attacking but defensively it's not going to be which is why it kind of brings us on to this build of bellingham which is a defensive build right so we're going to take a look here so this defensive build of him i think is the best version of this card obviously you can play him attacking as well but this, there's just so much going on with this card. Like, while the last card where we looked at was the offensive build, right? This had 74 finishing. Like, you can obviously tweak that if you don't shoot a lot. If you don't shoot, you can literally leave that at 68. Get the player form boost with the unwavering form. And when Real Madrid come back in with their season, they will be getting live updated again. You can leave that finishing at that. And you can actually, you know, put two more into dexterity, which brings his acceleration up to 80, his balance up to 86. And you also have that offensive awareness at 76. And then you can knock on, knock on. You can knock on a couple of these here as well if you wanted to go either passing, or, of course, you can go with dribbling, you know, and still have one left over for, like, aerial strength. So that's an extremely good offensive build. But for this version of him here, I definitely think this defensive build is the ultimate version of this, this Bellingham card. Yes, you can get away with the England pack. I think is more suited towards an all-round attacking option because of the player levels that you can go and because that he's got minus one aggression and minus two defensive engagement, but plus one acceleration. Whereas with this card, I definitely think this is an attack first build, right? You've got one touch pass. You've also got first time shot, double touch, soul control, rising shots, everything that you could possibly want and need is here within this card, right? And then also on top of that, his player AI and his player ID, whatever you want to call it, as a defensive build, if you're able to stick blocker and sliding tackle or man marking on him, he just turns into a, such a dominant player, especially if you're playing him beside a really solid anchorman, because he's got the speed, the acceleration, the pace, the power, everything to kind of cover all the ground as a box to box when that's activated or whatever. And then also on top of that, you've got your low pass, your ball control, everything like that um, when it's there, right? And when I'm talking about play style, we will talk about that because as I said in the last video, 
video and a few videos. A lot of confusion about play styles. Um, we will cover that in another video, right? And get exactly, you know, what I was saying on it. But anyway, speed and acceleration, physical contact, balance, stamina. You can pretty much play Bellingham any position that you see here and he'll be a beast for you. But I do think that that, you know, center midfielder as part of a double pivot, like how I play my squad DMF, Anchorman, um, or Destroyer, and then a CMF that can do it all, can attack. Doesn't need to be, you know, shooting the lights out, doesn't need to be passing like, you know, Pirlo, doesn't need to be going box to box all the time, but is going to be very solid defensively. So 12 into defending, 6 into passing, 5 into dexterity, 2 into lower body, and 4 into aerial strength. If you find that the game doesn't really, you know, you can retrain him or whatever, you could get away with 2 into aerial strength and pop one more onto dexterity to have 77 acceleration. Um... And if you find that your passing is more than enough at that, you could also pop on another two or one more onto dexterity there if you wanted to and pop two into dribbling. You're still going to be an extremely solid defensive-minded uh, center midfielder, right? So that is something that I would take a look at there. Now, this build of Bellingham here, the Showtime one, like obviously that's going to be a far superior version. You can get this card extremely good. But I think with this card as well, you are going to still run into that same issue with the, the acceleration. So if you have spun for this card, it is a really good CMF, but I definitely would play him as a defensive build, in my opinion. Um, forget about attacking uh, CMF there. This is the attacking CMF version of him, and this is... Yeah, I've this wrong. Anyway, this is the attacking version of him, and this is the defensive version of him with the blocker and the interception fighting spirit, if you control blocker on him. So that is it for me, lads. I'll be back with Alaba quite soon. Until next time, peace. Don't forget to subscribe.